So this is a three phase power interface module. So to acquire data from this module to the computer, we use a, another board here. This is the interface board. It has some two PTs and two micro CTs. So the voltage and current. We are acquiring two, two phase voltages and two phase currents. And these voltage and currents are acquired through this data emission module to the computer. And we have a software that is called KMR Relay that has the all the interfaces for visibility the new algorithm. So if you start this software, this is the initial windows that will appear. Here in this graphical user interface, we have two parts. In the left side, this is the theoretical uh, curves and equations will appear here or all the uh, over current relays. And the right side, we have the online interface. So let us start with uh, choosing the relay. We are here simulating the over current relays. And for over current relays, we have a standard that is called IEC 60255. So there are mainly two car two types of curves or over current relays or two types of characteristics. One is IEC, another is IEEE. In all countries, we normally use IEC curves in America and UK and the countries that use 60 hertz. They normally use IEEE curves. So you can see here for theoretical study, identity IEC relays, these are the three characteristics. You can see standard inverse, very inverse, extremely inverse. And if we choose the IDMD IEEE, these are the uh, curves. IEEE moderately inverse curve, IEEE very inverse curve, extremely inverse, USU8 inverse, USU2 short time inverse curve. These are the curves. This is the current, and this is the operating time. Now, all these curves can be simulated here using online data. Now, in the right side, we can see, we can choose the relays for, so these are the three IEC relays, and these are the five IEEE relays. And if you choose a particular relay here, for example, standard inverse, this is the curve. If you change the TD value, then the curve will go upwards. So what is the equation for this particular relay? You can see the equation here. So first you choose IEC, then you can do a standard inverse. This is the curve equation. So here, on the left side, we can see the equations of the particular relay we are going to simulate here. We can choose any of the relays, and you can see the equation from here. If you, can, if you want to see the IEEE characteristics curves, then you can see the equations like this. So in IEEE and in IEC, the terminologies are different. In IEC, we use TMS, time multiplier setting, and in IEEE, we use time delay. So you can see from here, the curves are given here and the equations are given here. So the students can learn what are the equations and what are the characteristics of the line. So this right side also shows the same equations implemented here, but we can change the parameters a little bit. Here you cannot change the parameter. These are the equations, and in the right side you can change the parameter. Now, let us start the relay. So here, in our current relay, we normally, you can see here, this is IR. IR is the ratio of the actual current and the set current. I divided by I set is IR. Now what is this I set value? I set value you can put here. See here, we are putting the I set value as 0.4 ampere. Okay, I can change it, 0.5. Now we start it. So start, now it is starting. So we can start or close the breaker by uh, clicking on this button, push button, and you can see the color is red now. And here, we have two, three radio buttons. All these buttons color are now green color, okay? 
That means there is nothing, no fault in the system. Now if, now we start the attribution system, you can see the voltages and currents appearing here. In red phase the current is approximately 0.43 ampere. In blue phase the current is 0.43 ampere. We are using 100 uh, watt lamp load here. So here you can see the online data is coming here, voltage and current forms, and also what are the RMS values here, and system status. System is normal now, no fault in the system. Now if there is a fault, then the program will respond to the fault. Now let us see. Now look at it here also. We are creating a fault. You can see now here in the car, characteristics, the line is coming here. So graphically you can see what is the operating time. This is about 12.95. This is also 12.95. Okay? So it becomes easy for the students to understand the behavior of the new algorithm. Okay. The fault in the system now we will trip. Now when the plate trips, you can see the current is vanishing here. No longer current is there, voltage is there. Okay? So, so this program, we can simulate the actual functioning of the relay. Now what happened here, the data. In numerical relay, we normally put the data in three forms. One is, what is the data for every second or every two minutes? We put the data with time, with time stamp and data. What is the voltage, current and everything? Time stamp. So this is a data file. And whenever there is a fault, we have to, that is an event for the system. And when that fault occurred, and when the relay is responded to it, and when the breaker was stripped, all the information are stored inside the, inside the file. That is called a log file. So you can see here, a stored data, there are log files. In the log files, a log, log file window is coming here. From files, you can see the log files. So here, there are some, some data files here. And from these data files, if you open any of them, you can see what happened here. The, all the log informations are stored here. Now, let us see the data files. The data file, we can open the data file here. So you can see here the timestamp, voltage of the two phases, and currents of the two phases. So the data file is storing the data, and log file is storing the events. In numerical relay, normally whenever there is a fault, it stores 15 cycle pre fault currents. So whenever there is a fault, and after the fault, if someone wants to analyze why the fault occurred and what happened to the system prior to the fault, they can download the data from the relay and analyze what happened there. So it becomes easy for fault pairing and to come to conclusion what happened actually in the system. So in New York relay, we have the logging facilities, we have the data acquisition facilities, we have the uh, relay system analy analytic analysis facilities, everything. So all these are incorporated here. So through this experiment, or through the use of this module and this program, students can learn about new market relays in detail. So this is, the, uh, this is how uh, we can uh, train the students. So this is actually a, a new market relay training system. Hmm? So we are incorporating here only uh, over current relays, but in future we can incorporate other relays as well. Thank you very much.